Hello Corkies, welcome back. I'm Billy and this is Bryn from CorkandJava.com. Today we're going to be sharing why you're getting ripped off on your wine at the grocery store. And we're going to be sharing with you what's called the three tier system. We're going to be showing you why it sucks. And we're also going to be showing you a few tricky ways to get around this kind of price gouging that you're getting gouged at the store with. So stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome to Cork and Java, your go-to place for coffee and wine, reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to expand and enrich your experience with all your favorite beverages. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. So what are we doing today? Awesome. So today, first of all, we're going to be drinking a little bit of wine ourselves. This is one of our favorite, if not our favorite, table wine from a winery out in Western Virginia called Chateau Morissette. It's a uh, red blend called um, Black Dog, which is a great song by Led Zeppelin, by the way, but it's a wonderful table wine. So we're going to be drinking that. And while we do, we're going to be sharing how you're getting ripped off if you're buying grocery store wine and uh, explaining the three tier system that's going on, um, how prohibition era laws and stuff are just raising the price of your wine uh, just way beyond what it should be. And we're going to be sharing a few tips about how you can get around this system a little bit and save some dough on your wine. Okay, so Billy, what is the three tier system? All right, so the three basic tiers. The first is producers. That's going to be your winemaker and uh, the people who are uh, growing the grapes and the people that are making the wine. So they actually get taxed on the amount of wine they produce and what they produce. So that's like your first tier of uh, price basically from the wine. And uh, they then sell to the second tier, which is distributors, which are people who are moving large quantities of wine from the different wineries uh, onto different retailers and restaurants. But uh, they also get taxed on the amount of wine they're transporting in every state also um, has different wine laws and wine taxes about um, imports of wine into those states. So that's bringing the price up, not to mention that um, they're buying the wine and selling the wine to the third tier, which is retailers and restaurants at a uh, markup higher than that, so they can make a profit, not to mention the risk that there is with transporting uh, wine and stuff that goes along with that. There's a lot of um, liability to damaging the product but uh, it's really the, the double taxing at that point that's really uh, starting to add up to the price which brings us to the third tier which is the wine retailers which is your grocery store and at restaurants which is even even crazier markup than the grocery store but also the you're getting taxed at the grocery store with the wine that you're buying there. And they're also paying a tax on the wine as well. So the government is just putting their hand and taking out on every single one of these tiers, which is driving that price way above what the winery is actually originally selling the wine to. They might sell the wine what, to a distributor for $7 a bottle. And by the time it gets to the grocery store and you're paying for it, you're paying $22 and plus the tax on top of that. So you're really uh, paying a ton more money for wine than you should. And you might be asking, well, why can't you just go right to the winery and buy from there? Um, most of the time, distributors make deals with the wineries that they're not gonna sell it above the price that um, the retailers would sell it for. So the winery is stuck selling it for this hugely gouged price. Um, they might be able to make up a little bit more profit on their end from the, from selling it directly from the winery. But as a consumer, you're not seeing that savings where they could be selling it at a lot uh, lower rate, more competitively. Okay, so we get the three tier system. What are the options to get around it? All right, so there's a lot of online marketplaces that are going on right now, thanks to the internet. 
the Vino, which is a great wine app to begin with. They have a, a, a marketplace there where you can purchase wine directly. Um, TotalWine.com and it's another online retailer and there's a few other uh, wine retailers out there where you can buy directly without the distributor. So you're cutting out tier two, which is a really big help. Mm -hmm. um, but even better than that is uh, some direct from winery to consumer um, uh, advantages. So you're cutting out tier two and tier three, essentially. I know Gary Vaynerchuk, who's a big guy that got me into wine, he is a big proponent of Empathy Wines, which is at empathywines.com. And they uh, are a California-based winery that they only sell directly to consumers. So they're skipping tier two and tier three. And so they're cutting off a lot of the middleman garbage out there. They're making better profits and you're getting wine for a lot cheaper um, through that. But then what I recommend is the best way to get around tier two and tier three is through wine clubs. So with a wine club, you're able to purchase directly from uh, a either a winery itself. A lot of wineries do wine clubs. But where we go through is the California Wine Club. And I'll leave a link down in the description with uh, some discounts to where you can get hooked up through them. But they're cutting out the distributor uh, as well, getting rid of that uh, middleman and all those tax uh, hikes that you'd be paying for at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. So um, it's basically cutting out some of those tiers and you're really just left with um, shipping, uh, yourself instead of a distributor but you're cutting out all the taxes and the um the markups that go along right. with those other tiers so with california wine club right now i believe you get two extra bottles of wine with your first month purchase so you normally get four, uh, two bottles a month you'd be getting four bottles for the price of two and so that's a really good deal and also you're uh getting hooked up with a personal wine consultant you're getting a magazine with information about all the wines that you're getting. It's from small uh, family wineries, ones that really get hit the most by this tier system because it's really only the big distributors that can really um, take the brunt of a lot of these uh, price markups that they're gonna have to equate for. So you're getting um, a chance to dive into California wines, smaller scale wineries that you wouldn't normally see at any retailer or store just because they can't afford to do that. So you're getting high quality wines for a lot better value than you would at the grocery store. And it's kickstarting your wine experience because you're learning about the wines they send you. You don't have to do your own research. They bring the research to you. So it's a really great way to just really start off your wine experience and save a lot of money in the process. So I recommend the California Wine Club. Yeah, and they've had great customer service every time we've had to, you know, branch out mm -hmm. and talk to them about something. They've been absolutely accommodating and wonderful. Yeah. There's another website, lastbottle.com, which um, they are selling directly online as well. And it's kind of like, a, it's like an overstock, like wholesale kind of uh, wine store where they're selling usually pretty high-end bottles of really nice wines, like stuff that are like $60, $70, and they're just trying to get rid of it, and you get it sometimes for like $40, $45 for something that's almost double the price. So there's some great stuff on lastbottle.com that uh, I'm gonna probably check out some more of for special occasions and stuff, getting a really nice bottle for really good prices. If, especially if you're uh, a little bit um, deeper into your wine experience and uh, you, you really know what you're looking at, uh, check out lastbottle.com. Leave a comment down below if you've ever purchased wine uh, through an online retailer or through a wine club. Let us know uh, your experience in that area. All right, lastly, let's tell you a little bit about uh, the Chateau Morissette Black Dog. What do you think about it? Uh, I mean, I haven't tasted it in a long time, but <laughs> I remember really enjoying it the last couple times we've had it. Let's give it a sniff. Yeah. Really fruit forward. It's got a lot of blackberry and blueberry mm -hmm. on the nose to me. Oh, that's what I was going to say. 
So a little bit jammy, but yeah, let's give it a taste. It's dry, but it's got a hint of residual sugar. Yeah. And um, um, I think just the fruit flavors in there give it an essence of sweetness greater than it actually is. But um, this is a great one to pair with um, all sorts of different red meat and uh, hamburgers. Just like, it's a really good um, one for a, a, lot, a lot of carnivores out there. Yeah, this one's great for a dinner party because it appeals to most people. It's not too dry, it's not sweet, um, but there is a little hint of sweetness. So it's palatable for everybody, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. We've we brought it over to friends' houses that uh, were pretty new to wine and uh, weren't sure if they even liked red wines, and they really enjoyed this one. So mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a great beginner wine, especially red wine, if you're new to that world. All right, well, that's going to do it for us here. Uh, make sure you guys find us online. We're on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. We are looking forward to seeing you guys online. So until next time. Bottoms, bottoms up. up.